Hey, it's Kirsten. So Patty submit this image here, which looks very sharp, which is awesome. So it was taken at 50 millimeter, uh, 50 millimeter lens, uh, F4, which is good because, you know, they're, you know, not, I mean, they look on the same plane, but F4 is definitely very safe. Uh, what concerns me here is 1 80th of a second shutter speed is a little bit slow, um, especially with squirmy babies. So one way to make this faster would be to raise the ISO. So next time I would dial in F4, I would dial in like one, maybe 250th of a second, and then set your ISO to meter it to zero. Okay, anyway, but it's sharp, and that's like, ultimately, that's the biggest, <laughs> biggest uh, concern we have. Okay, so it's definitely very, very um, blue. So I'm just going to add... Um, yellow, and I opened it in ACR. This is ACR. I use this instead of Lightroom because I just, uh, I just like it better. Okay. Um, so things I play with, I bump up, you know, the contrast a little bit. There's no blown out highlights, so that's good. Um, I raise the whites just a little bit. I'm going to leave the blacks for now. I raise the vibrance just a little tiny smidge. Now, one thing I do with almost every image, I feel like it makes the most pop on like headshot, teenagers kind of a thing, or newborns, but I'll try it here anyway. Under the curves, I raise the darks just a little bit. Plus, oh, there's Wilson, this big fat mouth. Um, I raise the darks a little bit because that makes the picture a little bit more even. Um, you know, skin tone and, and stuff like that, um, makes the lights and the darks more <laughs> even. Okay, seeing if it was done yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. I just realized you're gonna see this little girl. I always forget to close everything out. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so there's literally nothing that I would fix I'm just looking at it because they don't have acne the expression is fantastic this is adorable um, literally nothing I would fix this looks fantastic um, sometimes I'll just get the um, the little little band-aid there and just kind of um, clean up a little bit of the the debris in the yard but even that's kind of a stretch so in the email that you um, sent, you said um, something about um, your phone doesn't necessarily look like your monitor or something like that. So it's important to calibrate your monitor. I use the Color Monkey. Um, I think that was the cheaper option at the time. I mean, I've literally had it like 10 years. But I know the Spider, S-P-Y-D-E-R, M-O-N-K-I, um, there's a couple options. Um, if you call like B&H and just say, I need to calibrate, you know, what, what can I use, yada, yada, they will um, totally help you. So uh, the reason it was so blue in the first place, I'm wondering what white balance you had it on. Some people uh, put it on auto, and I'm going to tell you why auto is the worst decision. If you're just farting around the yard with your, you know, grandbaby, whoever this is, and you're like, la, 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 and you're kind of like, you know, they're kind of walking from one, you know, one side of the yard to the other. If you're on auto, every single picture has the potential to be different because it might pick up on something making them blue, pick up on something else making them too warm. Um, it'll be really crazy inconsistent. So you're going to want to um, pick one white balance and just stick with it because that way if it's too warm, you can batch edit all of them cooler instead of when you're on auto, you're kind of forced to edit every single picture individually because there's no consistency. The white balance, the auto white balance could just bounce around everywhere. Um, okay, so one thing I do all the time is I have an action for sharpening. Um, right here. So the thing I love about this, white brush, white, white, okay. Um, I usually go over tattoos 
people that have tattoos are very proud of their tattoos and they want them to look super awesome. So I have another gal that has like a sleeve and it's like on her chest, like, like this gal. Um, and she wants them to like, I always make them look super fantastic. Okay. Let's do before and after. I mean, it's just so subtle, but she's going to be like, damn, my tattoos look fantastic. Okay, I would, I don't know, for some reason, these little dangling lights are just, like, bothering me a smidge. I'm just going to. Not remove all of them, but just a couple of them were just, <laughs> they looked kind of. Um, okay, so I would leave this image as is. I think this looks fantastic. Um, and definitely calibrate your monitor because your phone and your monitor will never look exactly the same, but they should look remotely the same. They should not be completely way off. Um, so that's just something you should definitely look into. It's worth it. Um, even on an amateur level, I think it's worth it. Um, other than that, I think this is adorable now. Um, you just got to uh, understand uh, white balance and, you know, figure it out in your yard. Anyway, other than that, I hope this helped a little bit. It's an amazing image. Like, they are just going to cherish this. So it's a great capture. Okay, there you go. Talk to you later.